And here I am, another another tent, and this one is featuring uh, anime artists, yep. anime artists, and manga artists all around New York City. And who are you? My name is Peter Tataro. I'm the programming manager for New York Anime Festival, an anime convention this fall uh, in New York City. Also, oh, the anime people have their own convention. You just have a booth here at the Botanical Sakura. Uh, right. So we have our own convention this fall. It's uh, September 25th and 27th. So we're very happy to be at the Kermat Fury. And there's so many fans out here. So it's our fans of Japanese pop culture, Japanese traditional culture. And we've been so happy to add all this Kermat Fury to give them this pop culture element. And then to have all of these traditional fans of Japanese culture come and embrace this new pop culture edge. And, and now I know that kind of the jacket Japan, I think, is the... the the ground, I mean, it's where anime began, unless I'm mistaken, was Walt Disney counts as anime. Well, actually, a lot of the anime style that is to say, in Japan, originated from the Japanese, emulating the original Disney style from like Snow White and Seven Door. But uh, other than that, certainly took it to a higher level, I can tell you, because if you watch anime uh, videos on the internet, and there are a lot of them, the art style is really much more advanced than what we're getting from the Disney studios these days. Tell me what is most popular in anime? Is most of this, I don't know, these books, or is most of it in Japanese or English, or there's some that are in both mediums, or what? That these are all books here. These are all comic books from Japan called manga. And these are all in English. But these are from Delray Manga, their publisher. And they translate the books from Japanese into English. And what we see here is a selection of their books. And it's amazing where it's everything from stuff for young girls, to young boys, to more mature readers. So it's detective novels. It is. How, how, how does it break down male, female? Is it by genre that action? Action is a one attraction, and romantic is for other attractions. Mean, just give me an idea where the market is in the anime in America, and does that differ from anime in Japan? Market? It does. As you're looking at the anime market in the U.S., it's actually a lot, lot younger than it is in Japan. And right now, we're seeing it's actually about 60% female and 40% male. What, what's a whole lot younger? It's where, if you're 12, 13, 14, that's where a mom is at. If you're 20 years old, you're old. And it's just amazing. That it, it, it used to be a crowd where it's college age kids. And what is it in Japan? It's everywhere. It's with anime manga, you'll see from the very young to the very old, there's comics out there and books out there. But looking at what's brought over to the U.S., it's really catering to school age kids right now. So the anime market is new in the United States and it's growing. And uh, it is, uh, is it mainly male or female, or how would you recommend it? It's a mix. It used to be very male, but as more books came out, more books came in. Like, there are lots of romances, lots of cute stories, lots of stories about emotions and flowers and very beautiful things. You see more and more women get into anime manga. So right now, it is roughly 60% female, 40% male. So you'll see more female fans than male fans. Now, when you're talking about anime manga, that means books that are printed based on anime characters. It's anime, it's anime is Japanese cartoons, and manga are the Japanese comic books. So, both feature the same art style, but anime is the DVDs, and manga are the books. And, and see over here, uh, it, we have a, it, we have a, uh, looks like some very eager people there, uh, Having people autograph. I know what's happening. What we're doing over there is this is for the New York Anime Festival this fall. We've asked New York area fans of anime manga to draw their own mascots for our show to create an original character. We had over 200 entries, and the top 10 are right there. And we're asking fans of Super Mario to pick their favorite. So whoever the fans of Super Mario go for, it, that will be our mascot this September. Again, if you're in a place, you can go on the internet and see these pictures and vote on the internet. You have a website. If you go to the website, you can see them at NewYorkAnimeFestival.com. NewYorkAnimeFestival.com, and there they could view these pictures and make their own choices. Yes, they can. And how many how many members do you have in the New York Anime Festival? We had about seventeen thousand people attend last year, and uh, this year we're going to probably blow that away. Wow, 17,000 people are a lot of people, so that really is going to be a bad I, I make sure I'm going to get on your emailing list, because that's something I have to cover, too. So we will follow more on anime, and if you were telling someone that how to explore anime, is there one book or one way you would tell them to go? Is it the Internet? Is it through buying some of these books or what? You would definitely buy a few books, look at a few DVDs. If you're looking for DVDs, Hayao Miyazaki, he's an anime, Fireflies, he's an anime, 
Prince Maranoke is the man who made all sorts of stuff like, oh, now, you know, I want to looking for a Japanese K-pop video. They didn't have one for sale from Virgin Megastore. I know that in some Japanese bookstores they have it, but most of the stuff there is in Japanese. Are, are, is there a section? Are there not anime sections in English bookstores or any big chains? And what has the best selection? If you go to any Borders or any Barnes Noble, you'll find a lot of anime and a lot of manga, especially books. However, the best place I recommend to find books and DVDs is in a senior bookstore. It's at 1073 Avenue of America. It's right in New York City. I was there myself, folks. It's at 41st Street and 6th Avenue. It has an incredible collection. Not only of these kind of books, but books on Japanese tattoos. It has the most incredible selection of art books I've ever found in New York City. The largest Japanese bookstore in America. I must say, really impressive. Well, thank you. I look forward to checking in in the future, and uh, we'll follow through on more problems about Japanese anime. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.